All right, hello everybody. Welcome to Pure Yoga TV, Pure Yoga Texas. Uh, my name is Jeff, and my lovely wife, Marty, in the pink, uh, sporting pink today, splash of color for the today's class. And over in our camera two, uh, we've got Miss Brooke. Brooke Spencer. Yay, Brooke. We got Aaron Frank, whoa. And we've got uh, Beth Peacock, looking good. We'll have a latecomer coming into that spot there. That's not a good thing, but we'll see Chrissy come in later. She's got, yeah, she called ahead. And then we got Cole Harmonson. Yay, Cole. <laughs> so Cole, it's been a while since you did your last uh, advanced class, right? Correct. OK, so no expectations. Same thing with all of you out there. Today, you are going to see the 84 asanas advanced yoga class, as Marty and I have learned it. You know, and it's different. So Marty will be. Uh, I'll, I'm, I'm the one that's mic'd up. Marty, you'll see how it's supposed to be done, all right? And then with me, as I step through this, you're going to see the struggles that I've had for the last 15 years. But I say struggles, it's actually joy, OK? Suffering is, Suffering is completely optional, all right? So that's the thing. You just embrace what you can do, not what you cannot do, and you just try, 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 all right? You'll find the things that you are good at, or you can do, and you'd be like amazed at yourself. And uh, so I'll teach this class or lead this class from a guy's perspective, OK? Um, this, thing is all, this, this class is all about strength, balance, flexibility. And we build it, and it takes time, all right? So we'll start pranayama breathing, deep breathing. We do 20 counts, and we go pretty fast, all right? So pranayama breathing, it looks and sounds like this. <laughs> OK? So everybody start. Feet together. Heels touch, touch. Look forward. Interlace fingers, knuckles against the chin. Relax your shoulders. Concentrate. Meditate. It's a yoga practice. Begin. Change, arms down by your sides. Virabhadrasana, warrior salutes. Right foot step forward and go high on the back toes. The left foot stretch up. Neutral spine, look forward. So this is one, so it's an eight count. First set a little slow, all right? Two, backward bend. And the head and the neck, look back. Keep the palms together, elbows locked. Three, straight spine and turn. Face to the back. Lunge, right thigh. Left thigh parallel to the floor, high in the back toes. And four, backward bend. Neutral spine. Right foot step to the left, turn, quarter turn to the right. Then right foot forward, high in the back toes. Keep the left leg straight. Head back, arms back. Come up, turn, seven. All right, so get in the lunge first. Left leg 90 degrees, and then eight, backward bend. Come up, and then eight, right knee down. About a fist distance in between knee and heel. Stomach in, forehead to the knee. This is eight. We count backwards. Seven, backward bend. Head back, arms back, arms straight. Come up, pivot on the heels. Left knee down, foot. Uh, one fist behind the right heel. Five, backward bend. Head back, arms back, look back. Change, come back up. Right foot step to the left, right foot down, left knee down. Forehead to the knee. Three, inhale, come up, backward bend. Change, come up. Pivot, right knee down, forehead. One backward bend. And change. Right foot step to the left, arms down by your sides. So we start at the back of the mat. Second set, much faster. One, two, change, turn, 
three, four, change, step, five, six, change, turn, seven, eight, change, eight, knee down, forehead to knee, seven, change, pivot, six, five, change, right foot step to the left, four, three, change, two, one, Right foot step up to the left, arms down by your sides. Step to the top of the mat. Surya Namaskar. Sun salutations. Start with your feet together. Hands in prayer in front of your chest. Inhale by your nose. Exhale by your nose. Ujjayi breath. Inhale. Arms up back. Backward bent. Exhale. Hands to feet. Spine, forehead to your knees. Inhale, squat, hips, touch the heel, your knees. Exhale, right foot, step straight back. Keep the forehead on your left knee. Inhale, head up. Exhale, left foot, step back to a high plank. Inhale, lower, chaturanga, half plank. Exhale, push back up. Inhale, left foot, step forward. Keep the right leg straight. Exhale, Rounded spine. Inhale, right foot, step forward, squat. Exhale, hips up towards the ceiling. Rounded spine. Inhale, palms together, reach up, backward bend as much as you can. Exhale, hands back down into prayer. Again, inhale by your nose. Exhale by your nose. Inhale, arms over your head, backward bend. Exhale, hands to feet, forehead to the knees. Inhale, squat low. Exhale, right foot back. Inhale, head up. Exhale, left foot back. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push up. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, forehead. Right foot step forward, squat low. Exhale, hips up. Inhale, palms together. Backward bend, way back. Exhale, hands back down. Into the Salutes to the moon. Feet together, arms over your head. Stretch up, half moon, bend to the right. This is one. Two, come up. Three, bend to the left. Four, back bend. Five, six, straight up. Hands to feet. Tips of the fingers touch the floor. Elbows behind the legs. Seven. Come all the way up. Well, that's eight. Now change. Right foot step out to the right. Eight. Triangle pose. Seven. Come up. Six. Triangle left side. Five. Come up. Four. Standing separate leg, head to knee. Three. Come up. Pivot. Two. Forehead to the knee. One, come back up. Turn to the middle, right foot back, and arms down. Second set, arms over the head. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. Step out to the right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Turn to the middle, right foot back, arms down by your sides. I forgot to mention, if I mess up the order, which I probably will do, my wife will kindly remind us 
of what's next, okay? Right foot step to the right, awkward. Arms up, stomach in, sit down, hips down and back. So when we do 26 postures, exercise, uh, this will help you understand where inhale, come back up. High on the toes. Second part, awkward. Sit down on top of the toes. Spine straight. So as you're experienced in the beginning class, we do those beginning postures. You get right into it. Inhale, come back up. Heels down, come up a little bit onto the toes, knees together, slowly come down. Take 10 honest seconds to come down. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Half inch gap between hips and heels. Relax, stretch your arms. You can bounce, bounce, hold it, and slowly come back up. Straight spine, heels down, right foot back, arms down. Eagle pose, we do arms and legs at the same time. Arms over the head, right arm on the left, right leg over the right, to the left. Pull, twist, arch back. Knees right, upper body left. Change, arms over the head, other side. Left arm under the right, left leg over the right. Change, arms over the head, arms down by your sides. Standing, head to knee pose. The fifth phase of standing head to knee is releasing the grip. If you're not there yet, you can always try when you release the grip, maybe hanging on with one or two fingers and extending the other arm forward. So there's always ways that you can start to strengthen more and more your leg, all right? Follow the count. Weight to the left foot, everybody together, up your right foot. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Right leg up. Two, three, four, five. Elbows down. Two, three, four, five. Head on the knee. Take five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the grip. Two, three. Four, grab the foot. One, two, head up. One, two, straight arms. One, two, right foot down, arms down by your sides. So it's a fast count. Weight to the right foot, interlace fingers. Other side, let's go. Pick the left foot. One, two, three, four, five. Leg up. Go. Two, three, four, five. Elbows down. Two, three, four, five. Head on the knee. Five, four, three, Two, one, hold it there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Two, three, grab the foot. One, two, tap. One, two, straight arms. Foot down, arms down. Hands on your hips. Whoa, big back bend. Open up the front side. As long as you're standing there with your standing leg locked, Get 100% benefit, okay? Lock the knee. Standing bow. Right hand out, palm face up. Arm, you grab the foot and lift the left arm at the same time. Go. And let's begin. Go. <laughs> Kick and stretch. Equal, simultaneous. It should take about 10 seconds to come down. Your internal count and breathe. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous. Point your right foot, kick back, kick up, kick harder. Touch the mirror, kick, 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 change. Come back out with control. It's like you're doing a demonstration. Other side. Stretch up, inhale, charge. About 10 seconds gone. It's somewhere in your maximum. Kicking, stretching, equal, simultaneous. Body down, turn forward. Now go for something new. Kick up, kick up, kick up, more, and then change. Come back with control. Step to the back. Balancing stick, Tula Nadasana. Arms to the head, stretch up, right foot forward. Keep the palms together and come down. Charge. Parallel to the Lock your knee, chin away from the chest. Stretch. 
stretch, inhale, come back up. Arms and head back, left foot forward, come down. Charge forward. Look four feet in front of you. Stretch and stretch and stretch. Inhale, breathing, come back up. Arms down. Split arm balancing stick, arms over the head. Pass through balancing stick, left foot forward. Split the arms down, up, left leg up, chin forward. Try to keep looking forward. Bottom rib on the right thigh. Lock both knees, point your left foot, stretch. Chin away from the chest, leg up, leg up, arms up, leg up, change, come back up. Foot step forward. Lock both knees, come down, pass through balancing stick. Arms down, up, and back. Split the arms. Leg up. Chin forward. Ideally, you see yourself in the front there. I can't see a thing. Leg up. Leg up. Leg up. Change. Come back up. Arms down by your side. All right. Standing. Separate leg stretching. Correct? All right. Arms over the head. Right foot step right. Arms down. Exhale. Bend your body down. Standing separate legs, straight. grab the heels, pull. Different advanced class, top of the head, aim towards the floor, right in between your two feet. Shoulders away from the ears, up towards the skin. Shoulder back muscles. And shoulder blades, pulling down the back, bottom tips of the shoulder blades, this is where you use your strength to create more flexibility. Let's find some softness in the hips. Pull. Inhale, come back up. From here, arms behind your back. You can have options here. Grab the elbows, or you do reverse namaskar, hands of prayer. Chest up, chin up, and come down. Chin forward. Look for it as long as you can. Top down towards the feet. And separate your feet. Be very careful here. Keep legs contracted, quadriceps muscles engaged. One the top of the head will touch the floor right between the feet. You've got to use a lot of strength here. Top of the head touch. Leg stretch, hip stretch, the whole spine stretch. And inhale, come up halfway. Body parallel to the floor. And control. So you can get down into the center splits. Use your hands when you need to. Thumbs facing forward. Sit down. Okay. Always mindfully moving. Look at that, Aaron. Chrissy, so I like to get a little extra stretch here. Malasana. Feet just about hip width distance, a little wider than hip width distance. Palms together in front of your chest. Use your elbows against the inner thighs, side of the knees. Move a little bit. We're trying to wear our legs on like we're putting on a backpack. So Marty will show the whole thing. And for you, Tight shoulders, maybe bigger shoulders. Feet maybe go a little wider apart. Okay. Marty will demonstrate from the side. Hands on your ankles. So you try to get one shoulder behind, other shoulder behind. If you, can't, if you can only maybe get one shoulder, it's okay. Try that. Extra funsies. You could bind. But instead of a twist, try to straighten your legs, suck your stomach in and chin and look at your bum. You can alternate sides, do both sides one at a time. Okay. Strap on the right leg and the left leg, see if you can bind, straighten the legs, stomach in, chin in, look up. And here's one of my favorite yoga hacks. When you want to come out, you come out slow. Like what Aaron's doing, she's using a little washcloth, right? it's a little extension cord. Brook, that's good. What I like to do, I like to squat down. Okay, Marty's death. Okay. I get my shoulders behind my back. And I squat low. 
with my hips allows me to bind, right, for some reason. And then from here, once I got the bind, then I can push up, chin in, straighten the legs. Now, of course, my legs are not straight yet, but tuck the chin in and look up at your bum. Go up his straight legs. And then when you come out, ooh, a lot of change in blood pressure, hands on the floor. And halfway lift, and the knees and roll up. All right. That's good too, Brooke. Grabbing the hip flexors right in there in the crease. That works well too. Okay. So we keep improving. In advanced class, it takes years sometimes. Tree pose, right foot up. Bike begin class, palms together. Move right into your maximum expression. Mindfully, with one speed, slow. Change, other side. Change. Toe stand. We try to come down without using our hands. Be very careful, mindful. Okay? Palms together, stomach in, engaged. You got to really fire up the left leg and come down slow. Slow, without collapsing at the end. So you keep your hips hovered over the heel. If you feel like you're collapsing down, just use your hands. Extend the right leg forward. Whoop. Always use the hands to regain. And right foot back in. And we push up no hands. The key is extending arms forward for a little counterbalance. Right foot down, arms down. Some days you get it, some days you don't. Yeah. Other side. Left foot up. With control, right thigh super strong and engaged. Come down. Without collapsing at the end. Right. Regain your balance. Left foot, left leg forward. And bring it back in. Keep your hands up if you need to. And from here, we push up no hands. Huh? Yeah. Sure. I will try. Okay. In the side. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Lately, I have not been getting it. Okay? So from here, I extend my arms forward and hips up. So one way to practice this is don't go all the way down. Right? You go extend your hands, notice the balance that you get. If you're not all the way down, you're still in control, and then push up. Okay? So this is like, you know, half curls. Okay? And come up. Keep looking down at the floor, down and up, and then one day you're slow, and then you come up. Okay, so you just gain some extra range each repetition. Whoa, and then you feel that in the thigh. Look at that, Aaron. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that way you're always keeping your thigh muscle engaged as you go up and down, up and down, and then eventually you're all the way down. The book comes up. <laughs> That's it. Zoom. Uh, the key too is what Marty was saying. Let's try to, I'll try the other leg, is to, as you go down, I like to, I like to warm up a little bit like that, and then come down, extend the arms, so the heel comes up at the end, and then from here, push the heel down, okay? From there, you have to push the heel down and come up, like that, Cole, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> All right, short person. Short person, Marty's going to show the full way, and I will show you a couple of modifications, some of, some of the yoga hacks, okay? So you're in your tree pose, palms together, fold forward, hands on the floor, bring your right knee down, one foot width away. From here, you can just simply... Bring your left knee back. 
and stand up mm -hmm. on the knees. Notice the hips, palms together. This is good. From here, you can move forward like you're doing a tree pose lying on the floor. I like to start on my elbows. This way, more opening hip flexors. Okay. And from there, you can lie down. Stretch your arms forward. It's a good place to be at any point in time when we do notice sequence. Yes. And then always move it with control. Careful. Do a short person. You hook the foot, heel, crease of the knee. Okay. Look down at the floor, left hand up first, right hand up second. Trying your best to stack your shoulders over the hips. I like to push, lean towards my left into the ball of my left foot, okay. spreading the weight more evenly over the hips. And you come out with control. Other side. Do as you wish. So beginning class, we do tree and we do toe stand. And here in advanced class, the evolution, the, the moving forward is this short person. Left hand up first, right hand up second. Remember, we're pressing more weight towards the ball of the right foot. May even out the hips more. And for me, definitely easier to balance. Shoulders back, chest up, lifts. Remember, you can always do this knees down, top of the foot back on the floor. This is such a great way to open up the hips. And you'll notice the difference one side to the other. Look at that. Use the water bottle, too, if you like. Okay. Good one, Aaron. And change, come out. Feet down, arms down. All right, next is a few arm balances. Some arm balances, we start with finger stand. So everybody, let's uh, move off. So your feet are off to the sides. So you can sweep your feet back. They don't rub into the, into the mat. It's like bird cages, right? Or like you're screwing in and out a light bulb. Thumbs in, fingers out, boom. Right next to the hips, round your spine. I like to round forward a couple of times. Get forehead to the knees, point your feet. When you push up, push up, sweep your hips back so the soles of the feet are on the floor, hips up high, and then from there, you can lift. Same way, bring your hips down, and then last thing, head up. You hold it there, point your feet. One of my favorite hacks for this, you do this a couple of times, the position of your fingers, thumbs, pinky, and the next finger, make a little tripod, okay? Those are the keys, so you don't rock forward and back, All right? Sweep hips back and up, and legs up. Okay. And we move on after one more good try to crow pose, Bakasana. Many versions of crow in this advanced class we do with straight arms. So give it your best with straight arms, hands shoulder width apart, walk, get on your tippy toes, knees into the armpits, push something very heavy, lift one leg up at a time, right leg, left leg, straight arms, look about one and a half, maybe two feet in front of you. Lots of core strength, push. Okay. Different variations you can evolve to you can try probably the simplest variation, keeping the arms bent, elbows push in to the sides of the knee, and just lean forward okay? with bent arms. Easiest Bakasana variation. Or if you're just working on opening up the hips, you could stay in Malasana. 
No problem there. Okay? There's always an option, something that you can do. And you can do bent arms with knees into the triceps. I find this one actually more difficult. And then push up straight. Okay? And eventually go into handstands and things like that. Okay? One last try, and then we'll move on. Crane pose. The thumbs, so like we were wearing the backpack, strap on your legs. Now get into malasana. So when we stay in malasana, this is a great way to open up your hips, lower back. Legs, thumbs forward and fingers back, okay? Thumbs forward, fingers back, bend the arms. Arms, will, elbows will flare out just a tiny bit. See if you can straighten one leg, touch down. Left leg, touch down. One, both legs, keep the chin in, all right? Squeeze your thighs towards each other. Toes shooting forward, hips shooting back. And then push up. Once you've got straight legs, push up, push up, straighten the arms, and then head up last. Okay. Do one or two good tries. That's crane. On the fingers, it's natural for your hips to collapse a little bit. Okay. And the fingers end up on the floor. Your goal is to be balancing on your fingers. Secret I you like to say is when you think of your hands, your palms, the thumb, this big muscle here, and the pinky, these two, it's like when you're squeezing a baseball, catching a baseball, those muscles squeeze together. And that creates the strongest line of energy, okay? So much so that you can do a crow, a crow on the fingertips, right? You build strength that you can balance that way. Okay? So squeezing, like you're squeezing a baseball in a baseball glove. Okay? One more good one, Aaron. This is Aaron's posture. Think of it like a traction, hips back and extending the toes forward. She's internally rotating her legs. Yes, so she has more strength and then squeezes the legs in. Look yes. at that. Way to go, Aaron. Okay. Guys, hands. Turn around, lie down, relax on your back. Oh, good. Oh, we're not ready to turn around, lie down on our back. Yeah, see, my wife is telling me where we got to go. All right. Different class, all right. Pranasana. Challenging, put your right foot in, lotus. Okay, she's doing the full variation. If you can't quite get your foot into half lotus, not a problem, just keep the heel next to the left hip. And big toes, the toes line up with the knee. From here, reach forward with your left arm, get the knee into the armpit, and grab your, under your foot, under your toes. More important, we get the knee into the armpit. That's the objective of this posture. But if you can get foot in half lotus, better. But don't kill yourself. Okay, other side. I'll show you. The very right arm. Reach forward. Get the knee into the armpit. And step forward, straighten the spine, push your left hand against the thigh, hip bones on the floor, three, change, hey, leg circles, <laughs> grab the right foot, the foot onto the thigh, bob up down to the left side, nice, gentle, of your leg hip, IT band. This is the other side. Grab your left foot. Very gentle movements. Okay. Okay, leg circling. So improve your folding postures. Your lotus, your padmasana. Left heel bring first. All right, and then right foot. Okay. Knee bounce up and down. Square on your backs. 
and no tension in the hip and the knee. Bob up and down, bounce, bounce, bounce. We do the heel follows a midline in, up, out, down, in, up, out, down, and right knee it bounces up and down. Everybody begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Shake out your arms, shake out your legs, do the side, grab your left foot. Preparation is important to balance up and down. Get rid of any habitual tension. So much times we hold that there. Ready? 30 counts. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, shake down. So we do two sets of that. This is a good way to build what you need, flexibility you need to do lotus seating postures. Marty, can you count, please? All right. Only 30. Get out, switch legs. All right. Brooke, can you shout it out from back there? That's it. All right. Yep. One full. Do we do, uh, yes, it's hands about a foot behind your hips. Fingers point forward, point your feet, and push up. Hips up, head back. Oh, this feels good for the biceps, tendons. Your arms should have been working and come down. Fingers point back and push up. Inhale, head back. All right. So who says that yoga practice doesn't build strength, huh? Not me. Ah, so now we'll go into the Lotus series. Pretty much? Okay. Lotus series. Easy pose, Sukhasana. So we bring up right foot in first, then left foot on top. Everyone can do this. Mudra, thumb and index finger together. Palms can face up or down. Chin in. We're practicing yoga. Couple of breaths. Samasana, toe into the crease of your knee. So the toe exposed. Right hand under in between the leg and pull your big toe over the muscle. So all you see from the top are your two big toes. Change. Siddhasana, successive meditation, right heel in and left heel right in front, tops of the feet on the floor. Knees out wide. Change. Svastikasana, good luck pose. Oh, gentle pose, warm up. See, she keeps reminding me. I'm usually used to, use, uh, to just following. So grab your big toes. Pull your toes, use your elbows if you need to, to push down, chin and rounded spine. Forehead to your toes, breathing three breaths. Change. And here, hands on the knees. Push away from your body, shoulders up by your ears. Try to straighten the arms, or maybe one arm at a time. Mm. If not so, grab your feet with one hand and press. Get your spine straight. Eventually, 
You get both arms straight. And just for giggles, get to a wall. Scooch back to a wall. I'm going to scooch back here. And you're like, oh my gosh. So easy to do. And you're against the wall and push. Mm -hmm. So it goes to show how much core strength you need to use right, to be able to, to do this posture. If it's not easy for you, you saw how like I can't do it sitting, not yet, when I'm sitting on the mat. But against the wall, against the bed, mm, just watch TV this way. Okay, change. Get the opening in your thighs. Luck pose. Sitting on the heel, right in the center of the mat, Sit right onto the heel. Legs 90 degrees apart. Flex your right foot. Chest up, shoulders back. Cover all of the openings, the senses, sense withdrawal. 20 seconds. Look up at your third eye. Dig in. Deep breath. Change. Other side. Sit on the right heel. Left foot, flex the foot. Cover all the openings in space. Deep breath. 20 counts. Begin. Change. Woo wee. Back to sitting. Ardha Padmasana, half Buddhist. Bring the right foot in first. Very important not to have a straight leg and put this this way. Make sure the left leg is already bent and help prevent kind of back injury to your knees. Bring it in as close as you can. Padmasana Lotus, left leg on top. And if that's not quite available for you yet, do one leg at a time. Put the left leg on top. Literally took me about three, four years to be able to do this. So in advanced class, you count the years of practice. Okay. Three, four years. Get a real tight Lotus, do lifting Lotus. Lifting Lotus, <clears throat> you want your feet Point outside the thighs. Okay, lifting lotus. Get your toes over your elbows. If you could tuck in like that, thumbs in, fingers out on the fingertips. Push up, all right, and lift up. So your toes above the elbows, knees up high, and look forward. The fingertips. Okay. Bound lotus. One arm at a time. So you've got to have a tight lotus. Reach back behind you. Big toe. Of course, I think. It'll help a little bit. Catch one foot, one toe. Or use a washcloth, like an extension cord. Okay. And this version, you see what Marty is doing? He's up, back bending almost. Or up straight. Other versions, you fold forward. Okay? But one way or another, just back arms behind you. You want to fold forward, that feels good too. Okay, come back up. Tail pose, blossom. Uh, beetle pose. Yeah, I think it's scale first, right? So scale, hands on your hips, on the bum. Come down on the elbows. 90 degrees on the side. You're like making a check mark with your body from the side. So chin in. Look up at the corner where the ceiling meets the wall, approximately. Okay, change. Now feel pose. Marty will demonstrate the full way. So she gets her arms in between the little creases right between the knees, okay? 
You have to be really slippery, sweaty. Sometimes I'm able to do that. I'll show you my hack. Okay? Look at you, Beth. Look at that. <laughs> Ready to go. Little hack. And so hold it as long as you want. You can come out with me. Half lotus. Bring the right arm through the leg. Oh, okay. Do that. Now what do you do with the other arm? Hook the left leg. Boom. Use the right hand on the floor. And left arm. Bring the foot over the knee. This is not quite what she's doing. Okay? But it gives you a sense of what's happening. Yes, you move your arms like windshield wipers. Zoom, zoom. Okay? Zoom, zoom, zoom. Way to go, Beth. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fish. Matsyasana, the top of the mat. Lotus or whatever cross leg position you can do. Okay. Hands on the knees, you pull back. Marty will show. Mm -hmm. Roll back over your shoulders. Push up, top of the head on the floor. Grab your Big toes, your feet, bend your arms so the elbows down, knees touch the floor, chest up, deep back bend. Reverse out, hands over the shoulders, lift the head up, grab the knees, and roll up. Back to the mat and towel, spider. Fold forward, and if this is not good for you today, you can do one leg at a time, like we did in the preparation for the short person. Okay. On the elbows, or reach your arms forward, and hands behind your back, reverse on the scar. One day, fingertips touch the hairline. Comes together. Let's play a little, little bit here. Hips up, or legs up, chest up. A little bit more intensity. You can change. Push and pose. Marty's the pro at this. She's going to do it. Okay. And I will show you, perhaps, with a water bottle. Boom. Water bottle's your friend. Okay. Focus about four feet in front of you. Okay. Left arm up. Looser lotus. Okay. Get a straight spine. Shoulders over the hips. Get that feeling. Maybe using the water bottle, one finger, just to balance. Really reach up. And Marty will always say, yeah, make sure you can get the balance with your right hand in front of your chest. And she's doing a little half moon mountain. And then I always try to cheat and just extend my arm straight up like that. Oh, see, I got it, right? Uh, but she's like, no, 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 no. You gotta bring your hand in front of your chest first. Get that balance, Oop, then I fall out. So you just try. And she'll try another variation, just kind of poof, hopping up. And now she's doing a, look at that, one knee. Interesting. Okay, there's a little pulsing action in the <laughs> There it is. That's for the Instagram. All right. So just a little pulsing of the hips is what happens, what you need. And maybe we can get one shot together with my hands up and her on one leg, one knee. Ready, set, go. Woo! <laughs> That's funny, that, uh, that's funny, Sometimes that's all you need for Instagram, just like one, one frame, right? Out of 60 frames per second. Uh-uh, this is yoga practice, right? We just have fun, all right? Uh, what is next? Oh, Pak Pose, Kukatasana. Lotus. 
don't do, which is fun. Hand shoulder width apart, or even closer. Uh -huh. You can try, play with different hand positions, but like push, like you're pushing a very heavy object refrigerator, and push and get your knees over the elbows. Okay. Straight arms. Look about one or two feet in front of you. And when you do that, you see what Cole's doing? He's doing Cole's party tricks. Look at him. Still got it. He's still got it. Look at him. Okay. So what that is is uh, some variations. You can do handstands. You could do um, that one is a tripod head. Mark will go up into the rooster, her head down, and then push back up to the rooster. That's very difficult to do. I'll do a little different variation, like what Cole did. Tripod headstand. Flip the hands. Asana, folded. One leg out, other leg out. Boom. Okay. All right, turn around. Lie down, relax. We we'll hope you're having fun. All right. Remember to subscribe to this uh, Pure Yoga TV. Hit that subscribe button. Our description down below in this class, and you'll see what you can get most of these classes. Right. Next time, I'm going to keep streaming, having fun, but on pureyogatv.com, you can get a trial to just explore all the classes that we have and some of the behind the scenes kind of fun that we have as a group. Okay? Vasana. All right, wind removing pose, right leg up. Grab your elbows over the shin. Or you can do like beginner class, interlaced fingers. Whatever suits you. Go right into the posture quickly, without hesitation. Change, left leg up. Change, both legs, knees into the chest. Change, arms and legs down. You do your beginning postures quickly, efficiently, effectively. Heels and toes together, arms over your head. Quickly sit up, exhale. Spine strengthening, cobra, locust, full locust, and the bow pose. Chin out, neck flat. Cobra, Bhujangasana. Ready? Begin. Change, locust, half locust. Right leg, lift up, begin. Change, left leg up. Change, both legs, deep breath, both legs lift up. Point your toes, change. Full locus, Purna Salavasana, arms out, ready, begin. Arms, body, head, legs, lift up. Change, both legs, uh, bow pose, Dhanurasana. Take deep breath, and go. Stop, kick up. Change. Lower down. Right ear to the mat, look to the left. Mm. 
Left ear to the mat, look to the right. <laughs> Some uncomfortable stares. <laughs> now, on the fingertips. So use always this opportunity to strengthen the fingers and push up, okay? A couple of fingertip push-ups. See how you can do. And come up, kneel down. Look at her. What do you call those? Uh, shoulder taps. <laughs> shoulder taps. All right, fix firm. Open the feet. Sit down in between the feet. Like beginning class. Arms over the head. Hands on the feet. Come up. Bring the feet, knees together, hips on the heels, arms over the head. Half toward it. Stretch up, come down. And we'll come up. Stand up on your knees. Knees and feet six inches apart. Hands on your hips. Back bend. Camel. Ustrasana. Inhale, come back up, arms over the head, hands in Namaskar, rabbit, Sasangasana. Change up, turn around, lie down, relax. Heels, toes together, arms over the head, sit up, exhale. Head to knee with stretching. Johnny Shrasana, right leg out, left leg in. Arms over the head, twist right, grab your right foot. Pull, flex, heel up, forehead to the knee. Elbows down next to the calf. Head in close. Flex your right foot. Contract your right quadriceps. So the heel comes up off the floor in the air. From here, you're going to let go of your foot. Let the heel stay up off the floor. Really strengthening the quads. Then change. Left leg out, right leg in. Pull, flex, heel up, chin in, forehead, touch your left knee. Elbows down. So use as little hand strength as you need to. Maybe it's one or two fingers. Or no hands. Keep the heel up off the floor in the air. This will help that fifth phase of standing head to knee. Good work. Change. Come back up. Both legs out. Lie down. Grab the big toes and right into stretching. Paschimottanasana. And move your hips. Shift them back a little bit. Get a little bit more anterior pelvic Tilt. Is that right, Aaron? Anterior pelvic tilt. Aaron is our PT. Top of the head to the feet. So if I say anything wrong, she corrects me. And Marty corrects me. Everybody corrects me. <laughs> Change. Come back up. <laughs> Separate leg stretching. I'll go this way. All right. So I can show the hips. Same issue there. And to your pelvic tilt, use your hands. Push, get your hips to lean forward. Right? So not a rounded back like this. Push. And you can reach forward. I like to grab the outsides of my feet with the thumbs pointing down from underneath. Pull, chest up, and fold forward. Keep chest forward, chin forward as long as you can. And then once stomach is on the floor, chest on the floor, chin away from the chest, then reach forward or grab the big toes and bend them down. So I've been working on this for, what, 15 years, 20 years? This is all I got right now. Keep going. Look at you, Cole. A superstar. 
Sometimes I like to get Marty to jump on my back on this one. Not today. I'm still taking, taking it easy, working myself back into this class. Okay, but time in the posture, that's what you need. Time under tension. Find some softness in the joints, okay? See if you can find a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then come up. Ooh. Frog, Mandukasana. So feet about mat width distance apart, okay? All right, you wanna keep them there. Arms underneath your legs. So you might roll a little bit side to side. That's what I like to do. And arms and legs make a 90 degree angle so your hands aren't so far back or so far forward. You have to imagine looking down, you're making 90 degree angles with your arms and legs slowly, right? Start to kick your heels forward, keeping the heels as close to the edges of your mat as you can. You'll feel the pressure in the backs of the arms. Eventually, straight legs squeeze your knees in to your shoulders. And one day, heels come up off the floor, chin forward on the floor, and then hips come up off the floor. Try. And then change. No fun way to get out of this. Just do what you can. All right? You know. Ski. You are you. All right, upward stretch. On your hips, point your feet. Or you can hug your knees into the chest. And then point your feet, grab your heels. Chest up, chin in. Slowly raise your legs. Keeping everything lifted, collarbones lifted. Elbows behind the legs. Shoulders away from the ears, pointed toes, stomach on thighs, chest on the knees. Just look up without moving your head in between your shins. Hope that camera's on them. That's a good one, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Get that. Change. What's next? Splits? Ooh, that's why I forgot. All right, let's do the right leg. Hanukkah. Right leg forward, left leg back. Yoga splits, hips as square as they can be. without a hip turnout. So keep the left knee on the floor, left foot, prevent it from sling. Okay. Put the foot on the floor. Hands I like to bring my shoulders so I can kind of understand where my hips are. And plane they're in. Contract your right quad, contract your left glute, feel the stretching, extension, hip flexors. If you've got a full split, you can back bend, and you can forward bend. Take time. The thing I like to do also, if you're working on the alternate pointing your foot and flexing your right foot. Point and flex. Point and flex. You might find a little extra range of motion. Okay. Soften the joints a little. Ooh change. Left leg forward. Contract the left quads. Right knee on the floor. Square down. Hands underneath the shoulders. You see how far away your right hip is from your right arm. trying to square your hips. So when you engage muscles in order to go in that direction, you back bend and forward bend like Marty's doing, you know, can the hips really be square? Maybe you see it one out of like 100,000 people.
But as long as you're working the muscles in that direction, then you're practicing safely. Okay? Change. Let's start with that. So right knee forward. You feel of your hands. So the left is back now. And here, relax, pigeon. Chest up, create some space between the bottom rib and the femur bone, the hip, and reach forward. From here, grab your left foot. Okay, so bend your left leg. We have an okay grab. So you say okay. Grab your left. Kick back the hands. Uh huh. Extend the left shoulder and pull the heel towards the shoulder. You can just pull. Okay, a little bit motion in the shoulder. Loosen it up. Okay, now we'll work on the flip grip. Okay, a little more challenging. From there, flex your left foot a little bit to the side. Flex your left foot so it points down. Let go of the big toe. Palm facing out, elbow in, and reach for underneath. So you're grabbing the top of your foot from underneath, right? From the inside. Now you'll feel more intensity in the shoulder. Kick back and pump. Bring the knee the heel in closer to the shoulder. Once you can close the gap, then you bring the elbow out, up, and behind your head. Okay. And you can move on, right arm over, grab the foot, head back, elbows touch, foot touches the top of the head. Pigeon. change. Or you just kind of wait there a little bit, okay? Working towards getting the shoulder to release. I'll do the other side. Pigeon. Left knee to the heel of the left hand. Right leg straight back. Okay, length, space, and stretch. Extend. Forehead touch the floor. Reach forward. And come back up. Push up and go through the variations on your own. You can do the OK grip, flip grip. I'm going to show you one of my little hacks. Okay. This one I learned from the late Jason Wynn. Love that guy. He's one who first introduced Marty and I to advanced class back in what, 2004 or 2005? 2005. Okay. So he was like, yeah, you take the Handkerchief into a triangle. Take that long edge of that triangle. Put it right in between the big and second toe. Okay. Then grab the little towel so it's over the foot and give it a clockwise twist. So it really tightens around the big toe. And here you got a little extension cord, right, to bring the arm out. And then from there, you feel like a rock star. So it gives you a feeling of being in the posture. Okay. Make sure you come out the opposite way. See, elbow, hand close to the shoulder is a way to come out of the posture safely. Okay. All right. Standing splits. Standing splits. Feet together. Bend forward. Grab your left heel with your left hand. Right hand, place it down where your right foot was. Stomach in, belly on the thigh. Right leg lift up. Splits from the side. Marty, I'm, am I in the splits? Yeah? 
All right. Change. Oversplitting, right? It's like, uh, you know, what do they say? Like the little dog, right? They see the big dog, and they, see, they think they're the big dog, right? So I'm kind of like the little dog. That's right. Other side. Grab the heel, left hand where the left foot was, left leg up. Mm -hmm. My mantra. That's right. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Leg up. Leg up. Leg up. And change. For giggles, we can do um, through balancing stick. Okay? So step to the back of the mat and tell. Arms over the head. Left foot forward. Reach up. Point your right foot right from the beginning. Lock your left knee. Go through balancing stick. So in this way of getting into the posture, you don't need to worry so much about change balance because you're in balance the whole time, right? Some might find this easier. Get in and change back out through the balancing stick. Other side, arms over the head, right foot forward, lock both knees and come down. You're never losing balance. The hands behind the ankle, elbows behind the calf muscle, leg up, face to shin, leg up, leg up to the toe, leg up, change, come back out, through, balancing stick, it's down, all right, what's next, dancer, oh yeah, see I always forget the ones I don't like, all right, but dancer pose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, same thing. You could do the OK grip. Grab the big toe. Left arm up. Reach up. Keep your chest up and kick back and up. Keep your body up, chin up, chest up, and kick. If you've got a mirror in front of you, see the foot over the top of the head. Kick. 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 Takes time. And then change. Other side. OK. Pick up. Grab your left big toe. Right arm up. Stretch up and go. Keep the chest up and chin up. So it's like you're holding, like if you had your hand against the wall. And that's a way of doing it, too, practicing this after a beginning class. Keep your hand on the wall. Look up. Okay? Getting the neck, spine, everything to. Stretch. Marty's going to illustrate. Hand on the mirror. See that? Body's upright. Like that. Okay, now you can do the flip grip. Flip grip, a little more challenging. Okay. So, what we like to say is do at least three sets. Okay. Leg up, no rules. Just do what you can. So very much like pigeon. Okay. Keep your body a little bit more upright as you can. So it's not so much like standing bow, charging the body forward. Kick, kick, kick. So if you're working through this, do at least three steps. This is usually the time in class where I wonder, why did I come here? <gasps> And I start making noises. Okay, let's go. Everybody go. Now, about at least three sets. Three sets. And then after the set, you see. We're going into dancer, full step, bow, kinds of crazy stuff. Do your best standing bow pose. Laser beam pose, okay? Yeah, Brooke. 
So you got all this tremendous hip opening, back bending, splits, shoulders. So now you're able to get into your deepest standing bow of the day. Kick, 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 kick. And set a new normal for your next beginning class. Progress in millimeters. Again, if you want to try, a uh -uh, little Jeff yoga hack, courtesy of Jason Wood. Or just using the washcloth, okay, when you grab with the flip grip, will give you a little extra friction. Okay, just a little extra friction. Ooh. So you can hang on. Get close to the heel to the shoulder. Enough for the elbow. Yikes. Not today. So stuff happens, right, during the week, during the month during the year, right, where, oh, I used to be able to do something. I can't do that anymore. That's your yoga practice, being happy just by being present in the room, practicing with friends, family, people you care about, all just concentration. You can lie down, relax. So like I say, I usually all of these years I just follow these instructions from different teachers. Of course, Marty. Um, but throughout all the years, if I rec recollect Elisa Matthews and Kathy Durham. Gianna Purcell and Afton Caraway. And of course before that was Kay Ha, Nora Jean Welsh, they started us off. But so many people. We got to listen to. Do a sit up, heels toes together, arms over the head, sit up, exhale. Double sided series. Right leg, right foot to the upper edge of the mat, left foot over the right thigh. Toughest part of this grip. Make a B and a D. Turn your hands over. Grab your left big toe with your right hand. Index finger over the top. Right big toe, grab with your left hand. Look down your left arm. Flex your right foot. Point your left toes. Pull your left big toe to your right ear. Look down your left arm like you're pulling a bow and arrow. Archer. Change. Other side. Get the grip on your own, look down your right arm, pull your right big toe to your left ear. You're pulling a bow and arrow. Change. Floor angle pose. Tushkonasana, left leg like in fixed firm. The left knee in slightly. Okay. Hook your right leg from underneath, left arm over your head, interlaced fingers. Tips of the thumbs touch. If that's challenging, just hold on to your left foot and pull the shin to your chin. Feel the hip opening. Change. Hip 
on the floor. Look at your left leg. Point your left foot, shin parallel to the floor. Chest up, spine straight. Change. Cap face. Stand on your knees. Get the knees to squeeze. Feet fan out. And sit your hips down in between your heels. Normal if there's a little space in between your knees. Try to keep the gap closed. Arms out. Rotate your left arm forward and behind your back. Arm over your head. Clasp. Chest up, chin in, squeeze. Release the grip, release the arms, change to the other side. Stand on your knees, that helps. And sit your hips back down. Arms out, right arm behind you. If you use your arms for assistance, just be very careful. Not worth it. Left arm up. Get close. You might find one side easier than the other. Normal. Change. Half spine twist, Ardhamasindrasana. I'll demonstrate facing the camera. Got this from Dev Kapil. So make sure hips on the floor and left knee in front of your left hip, knee in front of the hip. Oftentimes our tendency is to bring our knee in too close and our hips are out of whack, right? So just sit comfortably, get the knee in front of the hip, right foot over the knee corner, so the foot is like on the outer edge of the mat. Here, it feels so good. Left arm up over the knee, twist, right? Just a regular half spine twist, warm up. Twist, and twist. The arm behind you, twist. <laughs> Other side, switch. Remember, knee in front of the hip, left foot over the knee corner. Mm -hmm. Hip bones on the floor. Left arm behind you, twist. Look over your left shoulder. Change. Full spine twist. Marty will demonstrate full spine twist. I'll show Working towards it, bring the right heel closer to the hip. This is what we always beginning students do. Okay, we can do it. You much turn the hips and the left arm, just like spine twist. You're gonna get a deeper twist this way. Look over your right shoulder. So with the heel closer to the hip, maybe mid thigh, somewhere there, whatever feels right. And so you should feel much more open the hips. Okay. And Mari's doing full spine twist, where her foot is in half lotus. Okay. That's not easy. So be very mindful. Don't do that at home. Better that you wait to do something like that in a fully heated room. And you've got enough experience in folding postures. A way to start working into that. Okay? So I'll demonstrate a little bit, and everybody else can join. So left foot. If you've got half lotus in your practice, left foot into half lotus. Okay. You have to find kind of the sweet spot of where it's going to not really feel like it's jamming into your side. And then bring the right foot over your left knee. Okay? Be mindful. Okay? Maybe it just sits right on top of the left knee. Mm -hmm. You got that? Then you could lean to your left, onto your left elbow, and down on Maybe grab the left, the right knee. But you see how my foot is off the floor? Mm, 
we still want the foot on the floor, so I'm better off. The other side. So foot's on the floor, leg is in half. I can, hmm, foot's flat. I can prop myself up. And from there, maybe I can do a little twist, transition. Mm hmm. Foot's close to the floor. Eh, kind of sort of. Like I say, better on the elbow. Okay. Turn around, lie down. So this class is never done with. You're never finished with it. That's why it's fun. Heels, toes together. Arms over the head. Sit up. Exhale. Leg breaking. It's not as bad as it sounds. So think of doing a, uh, it's worse. Yeah, think of uh, uh, doing a pigeon facing to the side and left hand in front. Okay, so you're leaning a little bit more towards your right side. Bend your right leg, get the fingers to in the direction of the toes and pump your right foot towards your left hand. See how far away my left hand is from my left knee, okay? It's about a foot away from my left knee, and pump, pump, push your right heel towards your left hand, okay? Now switch, other side. Fingers in the same direction as the toes, elbow up high, pump, Pump, pump. Feel tremendous stretching in the quadriceps muscles. Or hold. Yeah, you can hold. <laughs> Change. Do a second set. And hook the foot underneath the rib. You laugh, Brooke. Push, push, push. Okay. Right foot, hook it. If you can hook one or both, you hook them easily, then you know you can work on doing both. Okay. So we'll move a little faster here. Okay. Do the other side. Do what you can. You're working on both legs like Marty is. You can use a couple of washcloths or a towel. Mm -hmm. Bow leg, bow leg peacock, different variations, things you could move towards. I'm going to use the chini tail. Okay. The bow leg peacock. I'm going to try getting both legs. I'm going to go from the stomach and try to get feet. When I do this, I like to keep a hand on the floor or at least. Do one leg at a time and then do both legs. Moving, especially around this part of the class. Hour and a half in, it's easy to say, oh, you know, I'm going to lay back, take a sip of water. <laughs> Just keep moving, right? <clears throat> keep moving. Just do something. Hey, yeah. Cramping in the toes. Look at that. See, that's bow like peacock. Mm hmm. My student. <laughs> See? It's okay. It's okay. All 
Let's move on. Leg behind the head. Pretty amazing. Four years. See? This is what happens, as I say in this class. There's ebbs and flows, right? When you can't do something, that's like when you really have to like pretty reset your mind, right? Leg behind the head. Cinnamon gummy bears. Okay. Coming up, heel into the crook of the elbow. All right. Just rock the baby, a little movement. The hip, keep the shin towards the chin. Just a little movement. Do the other side. All right, leg behind the head. Ooh-wee. Okay, make sure the knee, that's why we did that warm-up. The knee is angled to the side, right? Not behind your head, behind your neck. Point it out to the side. You could bring your shoulder through first. Pinch the calf with your thumb. Pinch the calf to get it out of the way, more space for the shoulder. You could swim your right shoulder through. Mm -hmm. Then. Bring your right leg over your head. Swim. Other side. You find one side better than the other, I'm sure. So here's where we get to the point where we just do something. Convince myself to do something. Think less, do more. Mm -hmm. That's it. Think less, do more. There you go. Now both legs. You could do like Marty does, or like I do. Okay. Both legs over the head. Then you push sting tortoise. Push up, hips up, and then she lowers down, goes into tortoise, and then pushes back up. My way, feet close. Roll side to side, get your arms underneath, okay? No fun way to get it, but I clasp my hands behind my back. Then, step two, I cross my feet, my ankles. Step three, try to straighten out the legs more, create some space, and chin in for it now. What is? And try to lift. And then some fun stuff. Student. All right, lie down. Leg behind the head. Uh, we do yoga nidrasana. Yogi sleeping. This is the no picture zone. Okay? This is what we call the no. No photo zone. Change. You can do one leg at a time. Alice Cuervo posture. Yeah, I hope Alex is out there. I think she is. You know, so Rome wasn't built in a day. You just got to keep putting your leg behind the head.
as the yogi put their legs over their head, one leg at a time. All right, what's next? Oh yes, Om Bye. So leg behind the head, now that you've nicely warmed up. And you can do Om and goodbye. Those of you who know John Scoggins, uh, teacher up in the Dallas studio, Pure Yoga Dallas, international yoga champ, his signature, Om and goodbye. So dudes can do yoga, okay? Dudes originally did yoga, yeah. So people who say, oh, I'm not Eh, you know, just just do it. Just show up. Oh, yeah. So Marty and I spent time at Negoshi Yoga College in North Calcutta. We spent four plus weeks there and uh, saw the room where Vishnu Ghosh trained all these yogis, yoginis. There was a separate men's yoga room, separate women's yoga room. You can see. Pictures of Buddha Bose, Bikram Chaudhry, Rajashri Chaudhry. DC, Viswanath Ghosh. All of the teachers from this lineage of practice. Really fascinating to see how people practice yoga there. We'd sneak into the men's room. I, Marty would. <laughs> yeah, when the studio was closed, and we'd take pictures. You can see pictures of Paramahansa, Yogananda, Vishnu Ghosh, a whole bunch of them. Felt just so hmm, sacred in a way, right? Heels, toes together, arms over the head. Sit up, exhale. All right. Oh, we are doing. Um, Plow series. A little leg lifts. Hands underneath your bum, right leg up. A couple of inches off the floor. Change. Left leg up, a couple of inches off the floor. Change. Both legs up. Change. Plow. Halasana. Legs over the head. So with movement, five times. Toes touch the floor over your head. Heels never touch the floor. Do five, nice control, pointed feet. After the fifth one, everybody stand up. Plow, halasana, legs up and over. Toes touch, hands on your lower back. So get on your shoulders, keep the chin away from the chest. Elbows on the floor, elbows closer together. Ear pressure pose, knees down, grab your heels and pull your knees into the chest, tops of the feet on the floor. Release, knees to the forehead, heels to the bum, Hands on your lower back. So you look like a capital letter N, like Nancy from the side. And then point your feet. Go up to shoulder stand. 
Chin away from the chest. Make sure you are on your shoulders. Nice. No bad compression on the neck. Fold your legs into lotus. Or stay in shoulder stand. Use your hands if you need to. Shoulder stand, lotus. Chin away from the chest. Hinge at the hips. Bring the shins to the chin. Arms over your head. Fix for with the shoulders. Hands back onto your back. Straighten the legs up. Shoulder stand, lotus. Shoulder stand. Then bend your knees, knees to the forehead, heels to the bum. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Heels stay an inch off the floor, straighten the legs. Legs down, arms down. Fish. Hands over your shoulders. Push top of the head on the floor. Elbows on the floor, push up. Long fish, point your feet. Irrigate the thyroid. Hands over your shoulders, push, chin in, lower down. All right, heels toes together, arms over the head. Sit up, exhale, forward to knees, elbows to the floor, series. Full cobra. Start with your knees and feet together, hands halfway down, look up, push up. Elbows on the body, bend your knees, knees and feet together. This would be a maximum expression if you could touch your feet to your head. Feet about what distance? <laughs> Am I close? Yeah. Everyone's so close, right? Half inch, Half inch more, okay. <laughs> Feet about mat with distance. Hands a little bit more forward. Push up. Mm -hmm. Keep the hips on the floor. Head back. Look for the floor. When you see the floor, bend the knees, toes together, and pump your feet towards your head. Okay. Pump it, pump it. Keep going until you either touch your feet to your head or get a cramp in your hamstrings, whichever comes first. Keep going. Get a cramp. Oh, yeah. And then chin lower down. Pull. Your knees grab your big toe. Some people like to do a flip. Whatever you like. Deep. Kick up. Drop, kick up. Then you could wear your toes like rings, elbows close, and then come down. Push up. Camel, full camel. Full camel, just to warm up. One of my favorites, interlace the fingers, and flip your hands all the way around. Cradle your chin. Make sure the Thumbs touch the chin. Ouch. Okay. Deep breath and then head back. You may not go back very far. Keep the thumbs touching the chin. Head back. Look back. Thumbs touch the chin. You'll feel some intensity around the neck line, right? All the neck muscles. Do a few sets of that. That feels good. You feel some release, some opening in the neck. Then you go into full camel. Marty will show full camel. If you're working towards that, toes touch, knees out wider. You could grab the backs of your knees. Right? Front of the knees. Okay. 
Just give a couple of sets of something. Brooke, looking good. Aaron, you got it today? So Aaron will do it. Full camel. All right, so she's going to demonstrate the reindeer antlers, right? So she does chest up, head back, goes like into a deep half moon back bend. Chest up, chest up, yes. And then she does antlers, thumbs on the top of the head. She looks like a reindeer. Uh -huh. She sees the feet, and then she can go down and grab the heels. Or she grabs the toes, then she walks her hands forward. Or she grabs a towel. See, that's like a little raceway, a little runway. Mm -hmm. Big shoulder opening. Nice, Erin. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Charlie Horse? <laughs> All right. Turn around, lie down. Bridge and wheel, set to Bandhasana. Shoulder width apart, heels underneath the knees. Tuck, curl, and lift your hips up. Lower down, one vertebra at a time. Wheel, all right. Hands over the shoulders. We do three good ones. Hands over the shoulders. Do different variations. All right. First set. Go. Push up. The goal one day to straighten the arms. Feet on the floor flat or pointed or heels off the floor. Different ways, different variations. You can do one leg wheel. Look for your feet. Look between your hands. Now, Brooke, your feet are way out wide, like your toes pointed out wide. Every time I did that, I would be corrected by everybody in the room. All right, change, come down. Okay. <laughs> All right, so see, your feet are way out like that. I know, I used to do it, I would like to do it, I could do it, but I won't. Okay, so that's why I don't even try to go back. I don't do drop backs because I'm not going to drop back like that. Okay, second set, go. Better to keep your feet parallel to each other. Yeah. Mm hmm. Let me figure out how you can spend time in this posture. Remember, do three sets, whatever variations you like. One leg wheel, full wheel. Yeah, that's straight. See, I bet you can do it that way. You're flexible enough. And when you're ready, you do drop backs, go down, and then back up. It's much better, Brooke. Look at that. And then you rock back and forth a little bit. Rock back and forth. You can get the feet on the floor. Oh, look, it's so much better. So much better. Let's see. Let's see if I got one in me. I might crash my head down. No? No hair. <laughs> no hair. 
No, it's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. You gotta know when to say when, right? That's the key. Right? Lie down, relax. <laughs> I just listen to Marty. She tells me, no, don't do it. <laughs> no. She's gotta slow me down. All right, what's next? Mayurasana? Uh, peacock pose? Heels toes together, arms over the head. Sit up. Exhale. My asana. Peacock posture. This one, one of my favorites. All right. Ideally, wrists just an inch or two apart. Fingers point back, spread the fingers. Stomach in. Elbows into the gut. All right. So after all those back bends, you got to push everything back in. Point your feet, chin forward. Chest forward, chin forward. You can fold your legs into lotus if you got that. Or you can start this posture and Padmasana. It's a little easier if you do it in Padmasana, the balance. Center of gravity shifts. He is to chin forward. Then he can straighten the leg. If you're working into this, we can do what we call, it's called swan, okay? So you can have the hands like this, like a reverse, like a tabletop position, elbows in, and just get onto the toes. You're getting benefit by doing this, right? Use your toes to balance. No, chin forward. I'm just looking at the camera to tell them. Okay, so elbows in. So from here, you're getting the pressure, abdominal pressure of your elbows into the forearms. And then from here, you see you're on the toes, you just glide forward. You gotta commit to it, to glide forward. Okay, and the toes will just naturally elevate off the floor. Like Aaron. Okay. Marty's telling me to try one more. Huh? Maybe if you have a drink of your... <laughs> Taste, okay. One arm peacock, one leg, one arm. Let's hop through. One leg and one arm. Leg, you can start in tree. Hook your arms through, get on the floor, fingers point forward. This is probably the easiest variation. Okay. It's not quite as, I feel, um, the intention of my rasta to get the elbow into the armpit. Um, I'm not really crazy about that one. It looks, it looks fancy, just do it. Cole's looking good. And then you do one arm peacock. You can do that in folded, Padmasana. This is a good one. Uh, or you can do just uh, uh, straight legs, a uh, straight leg version. So I'll give you one of my hacks on this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, different ways, right? One way, most difficult way, is the fingers pointing back, all right? Mm, tough to balance. Easier way to balance is the fingers pointing sideways. Elbow, you got to get really in deep and low. Okay? You can either start on your toes with the arm extended, which is what I like to do, and then just glide forward, okay? Or you can start with your hands down, legs up, get the balance and raise the arm. Either way, or you find what works for you. I definitely put arm up, 
and then glide forward. There you go. <laughs> and so, another one trying to work towards. Start with one. Move to two. Change arms. <laughs> See ya. That's the goal. Okay. All right, headstand, handstand. All right. Headstands, be careful. You know, consult a professional would be my best advice to you. Oh. Right. Elbows beneath the shoulders. You should be able to measure your hands on the elbows. All right. Make sure you're driving through your shoulders right down through the arms. Hands flat on the floor, okay? Or, oh, that's form stance. You can interlace the fingers, except the little baby finger. Let it fall out. Sometimes it gets stuck. Cradle the head, okay? Top of the head, crown of the head on the floor. It should be fairly loose, okay? So that means how much pressure you have to push through the hands. I would recommend, as you're learning, to just do a plank. Do a plank posture, and that's the same feeling in the shoulders. You can work your way up toward the dolphin, okay? Walking your fingers to the elbows. Push, drive through the shoulders, the elbows. Keep the head and neck relaxed. Top of the head, close to the floor. You can bring one, both knees uh, into the chest. Hips over the shoulders. Really press through shoulders, okay? From there, you can go up into the shoulder stand. Eventually, you can hike up into headstand. There you go. Not shoulder stand, headstand. Back engaged, core engaged. Head is loose, okay? Minimal movement. Point your feet, hips tight. And you pike up and down. Cole's working on, yeah, tiger scorpion. So there's different variations of forearm balancing. Forearm balancing, the Ashtanga way is Pincha Mayurasana, where um, body is straight up and down, head is relaxed, okay? Something like this. Okay. In the Ghosh series, Bhagrasana, chin forward, legs straight, it's a bit more of a backward bend, and eventually toes to the head. You gotta go chin forward more, right? So the neck is parallel to the floor. That's the goal. Like Marty's gonna do. Okay, we're working towards all of those things, right? Um, and then, you can do handstands against the wall. The wall can be your friend, okay? Um, you can also do uh, one of my favorites is what I call like a pose. From here, you start in the tiger and then bring your hands into the elbows, okay? One hand at a time. Balancing on your elbows. Okay. Marty's demonstrating going up and down the wall like that with her feet at 90 degrees. It's like a downward dog against the wall. Okay. Handstands, many ways to do. Layla Noon is going to do a handstand workshop with us maybe next week. Ideally, we like to pike up. Pike up into handstand takes a bit of core strength. Okay. Big forward fold. Hands on the floor. Get high on the toes. You need your hips over the shoulders. Really strong core. Push through the floor. And 
lift your legs up. Okay. Do a few tries to pike up. There are pros who do this. So you just keep trying. Oh, yeah. Enough. Three times, done. OK, other ways you can try to go up in handstands is from crow. You can do crow to handstand. It's another optional way. Different variations, or straddle up. OK. 4 o'clock. Let's finish up. Kapobhati breathing. Kneel down. Hands on the knees, arms straight. Start with a deep breath. 300, I'll clap every 50. Ready? Begin. All right, not only breathing. Stand up, hands on your knees, bend your knees. Exhale everything out of your mouth, right? Uddiyana Bandha, suck your stomach in and hold it in. There's five parts. Release, you're creating a vacuum in the abdomen. Second set, create the abdomen, Uddiyana, and then pump your, what is it, Aaron? Rectus abdominis, in and out. <sighs> Stomach in, Uriana. You see what Marty's doing. Third part, push it in, push it out, and move it side to side. Change. All right. Great for the abdomen. Massage. Thumbs on top, on the sides. So a little bit look like a little tendons kind of moving up and down. You move a little bit side to side, a little bit more upright. <sighs> Stomach in, Uriana. Change. Last one, freestyle, whatever you like to do. Full belly contents. All right. That's it. Jazz hands, everybody. Turn around, lie down. Relax onto your back. Savasana. Thank you all for joining us. Live on YouTube. This is Pure Yoga TV. Take a couple of minutes at least to rest, relax, breathe, stay still.
Oh, give me a second. All right, so remember to check us out on pureyogatv.com. Subscribe to the channel. We keep doing this every Thursday at 2 o'clock. Maybe some special guests each time. We'll work towards that. And uh, we'll see you soon. Practice hard. See you next week. Namaste.